Hi, and welcome to Sanford Sports Weekly. I'm Mike Grace, your host for an inside look at what's happening in Bulldog Country. Over five days last week, our Sanford baseball team made this place home, Floor Field in Greenville, South Carolina. The fourth seeded Bulldogs began their tournament run on Wednesday with a 7 0 shutout win over the five seed, Western Carolina. That set up a Thursday showdown with attorney's top seed, Appalachian State. Senior Brandon Miller put on a show, blasting two mammoth home runs over the Green Monster and left, and the Dogs powered their way to a 12 7 win. That earned the Dogs a Saturday date with the eight seed, Furman. Sophomore center fielder Philip Irvin put the Dogs up big with his second grand slam of the season and senior right-hander Kyle Pitconin did the rest, tossing his first complete game of the year as the Dogs cruised to a 12-2 victory. Then came Championship Sunday, the Dogs' second straight trip to the SoCon title game and a rematch with the Eagles of Georgia Southern. After a 6-5 lead slipped away in the ninth, the Dogs loaded the bases in the top of the tenth. Junior second baseman Zeth Stone, whose error in the ninth helped Georgia Southern tie it, redeemed himself with a bases-clearing triple to put the Dogs up 9-6. Then sophomore C.K. Irby sat the Eagles down in order, and the Sanford Bulldogs celebrated as 2012 Southern Conference champions. At a viewing party for Monday's NCAA Tournament Selection Show, the Dogs learned the destination of their first ever NCAA Regional. It's Tallahassee, Florida, where Sanford will open play Friday at 11 a.m. in a clash with the SEC Tournament champs from Mississippi State. So it's the Bulldogs and the Bulldogs in an NCAA Regional in Tallahassee this weekend. For ticket information, broadcast details, and more, just visit the official online home for all 17 Bulldog teams. That's SanfordSports.com. And until next time, I'm Mike Grace for Sanford Sports Weekly saying, Go Dogs!